Hi, I'm Randy Brown, your YRA here on Athlete Instructor. Today's lesson is the introduction to third base. And this is basically just an overview of the third baseman, where he plays, the type of plays that he makes throughout the course of a game. So there's six key points. Number one, who is the third baseman? Number two, the type and style of glove you use. Number three, your protective gear that you wear. Number four, the four positions a third baseman would play. Five, five ways to field a baseball. And finally, number six, the different ways to catch a baseball in the air. So let's go back to point number one. Who is the third baseman? Well, your third baseman plays between second base and third base, closer to the third base line. He's typically more athletic. He's bigger, he's stronger. He has an above average arm. He has good hands and good feet. And point number two, the type style of glove that you, that you wear. It doesn't really matter, it's personal preference, the, the, uh, the make and model of the glove, but what's really important is the length of the glove. And typically a third baseman wants to use a glove size between 11 and a quarter and 11 and three quarters. In point number three, the protective gear you wear, you always want to make sure you step foot on a field and wear a protective cup. This is going to save a lot of heartache and misery if you ever get hit where you don't want to get hit. So always protect yourself when you come out on the field. The second thing you want to have is sunglasses. It's a sunny day. Sometimes the ball can get lost in the sun. So you need to have the sunglasses on to make sure you can see the baseball once it's hit in the air. In point number four, let's go to the four positions a third baseman would play. We have regular depth, we have double play depth, we have even with the bag, and we have infield in. So as I go back to regular depth, right here, this is the furthest away from home plate. And what this does, it allows the third baseman to create more range for himself. It allows him to read the ball a little bit better so he can go ahead and make a play. And a lot of this, these depths depend upon the hitter, depends upon the score, the situation of the game, and a lot of it has to do with the surface area that you're playing on. The next one would be double play depth. And double play depth is a little bit closer in towards the third base bag, towards home plate. And what this does, it allows for the third baseman to react quickly on a ball and, and quickly make a turn um, to second base for the double play. The further back we are, it allows the base runner, the batter runner now, to gain more speed towards first base and more time. So it cuts the distance down and it makes it a lot easier for the third baseman to turn a double play. The next one would be even with the bag. And even with the bag is in a certain situation where we may need to cut down the runner at third base or we have a runner at first and third where we can turn a double play. It's also a, a position on the field where we may try to uh, move in in case the guy may try to drag bunt or push bunt. So that's why as, as a fielder, we kind of got to know who we're playing against and the type of hitters we're playing against so we can position ourselves accordingly. And the last one here is infield in. And this, this position right here, we're really trying to cut down the runner from third base. So anytime the infield is in and there's a ball hit, we want to make sure we're able to cut down the runner at home plate. And point number five, the different ways to field a baseball. So there's five basic ways to field a baseball here at third base. One, the conventional way is where we're squared up and we're ready to field the ball. Another way is where we're playing a ball into a backhand. So as we adjust our feet, now we're playing the ball into a backhand where our left foot now is pointing towards first base. That's where we're playing a ball into a backhand. The other backhand is where our left foot is crossed over and we're fielding the ball out over our glove foot. It's a hard hit ball down the line and our momentum is taking us and our instincts are just telling us to go get the ball. So that's the other type of backhand. The other type of play is a forehand. Whether I'm moving laterally or I'm taking a drop step back with the glove, our glove foot out front and our glove out in front of us where our chest is pointing towards second base, that would be called a forehand. I could also feel the ball forehanded moving towards first as well. The other one would be a circle through pig play where I'm reading the hop and now I'm coming through and picking the ball and then setting my feet and making a th uh, throw to first. I can also do that same thing backhanded. And finally, picking a ball up barehanded. Typically those would be a do or die play on a bunt situation. And in point number six, the different ways to catch a ball in the air. 
ball's hitting the air, it's a pop-up. Typically, I'm gonna put my glove over my nose, okay? That's a basic routine pop-up where I can set my feet and get up underneath it. There may be some where I'm running back, gloves over my left shoulder, and I have to make a catch on the run, or I'm moving towards foul territory, and I have to backhand it catching a ball over my shoulder. And the last one would be if I have to run in and basket-style catch a baseball. And when you're playing catch, this is real important, when you're playing catch, the proper glove movement to, to catch a baseball. So if a ball's coming at me, we're playing catch, I want to put my glove here. Notice how my thumb is pointing out. If the ball goes to my left shoulder, my thumb rotates up. And if the ball goes to my right shoulder, my thumb rotates down. So from here, any ball hit or thrown this way, I'm catching this way. And now as I start to move back towards my left, my thumb is now begins to start to rotate up. So remember these six points. Number one, who is the third baseman? Number two, the type and style of glove you use. Number three, your protective gear that you wear. Number four, the four positions a third baseman would play. Five, five ways to field a baseball. And finally, number six, the different ways to catch a baseball in the air. That's the introduction to third base.